Baltimore Women's Classic is the second oldest consecutively run women's race in the USA. Uh, our race, or so the BWC, began in 1976 and it, became, it was named Lady Equitable. It moved from Lady Equitable to Lady of Dia, it moved to the Avon Running Series, then to a local running store, and then we became involved in 2003 and renamed it the Baltimore Women's Classic. For many years, women were told, you can't run. There were significant impacts to your health, up to even like your uterus was gonna fall out. So for a long time, for years and years, women were told this. But it wasn't until maybe the 60s, women started really kind of sneaking into races and it was becoming a little more in vogue. But in 1977, when I heard that there was gonna be a Lady Equitable, and I worked for the Equitable Bank, at that time, I didn't know of a lot of races that were specifically women only. And of course that drew my attention. So when I went out there and I was really amazed at the other women that were there because I would be in, involved in races that only had a few people, maybe a couple of women. And all of a sudden, what, 78 runners that were all women. The Baltimore Women's Classic is specific to women and it makes it a special day for them. Everyone is there to cater to them. A lot of men volunteer. We have a lot of perks for race day as well, such as on-site massages and a rose at the end for each woman. Um, the camaraderie is a lot different, not only during training when you're kind of building your friendships and relationships with others, but on race day itself. The Baltimore Women's Classic is actually a women's distance festival event. That means that it is sanctioned by the Maryland Roadrunners, who are in turn sanctioned by the Roadrunner Club of America. This Women's Distance Festival uh, requests that everyone who runs a race under their guidance uh, provide an eight-week training program. When we came in in 2003, the training program had about 50 women training. Since then, uh, I could tell you last year, uh, we had over 700 women at three different locations, and there are women of all ages and abilities. We have training programs located throughout the Baltimore metropolitan area, and there's four different levels, beginning walkers, intermediate walkers, beginning runners, and intermediate runners. It's fluid. You can go from one group to another group, and if one group is too slow or too fast for you, you can go to another group. So there's always the right spot for someone. The mission of the Baltimore Women's Classic really is to empower women to live a healthier lifestyle. The byproduct of this all women's running event, we decided to form a nonprofit. So we now are a 501C corporation in the state, and we formed a partnership with uh, folks down at Mercy Hospital, not supporting simply Mercy, but their uh, gynecological oncology collaborative, which consists of seven hospitals throughout the state. At this point in time, most GYN cancers are considered chronic medical conditions. They're no longer considered acute. In other words, a woman isn't diagnosed gets three or four treatments and is done for the rest of her life. Our patients uh, present with ovarian, endometrial, cervical, some vulvar, some fallopian tube. Those are rare, but we do see them. Um, and these women are facing a lifelong process of treatment. It is so important to have groups like the Baltimore Women's Classic partnering with us because by them providing funds, we're able to help with those extra needs. I take chemo three Tuesdays out of a month. And I, I do have some pain, but not much. But when I do, I have to get certain types of medication. And uh, my medical assistant ran out. So when it runs out, then the program helps me by paying for some of my medication. We encourage women to get involved with the Baltimore Women's Classic, not only for their own health, but to help support the health of the women that we're helping to treat. Women spend so much time taking care of others, and this is a chance for them to take care of themselves. And what's a nice added benefit is you're taking care of other women as well. So whether you get involved in training or only on race day, you know that your money is going directly to those services. Plus, you're taking care of your own health. I usually start crying at mile one, just because it's so touching, so emotional, to see all these women out there running together supporting the cause. 
When I see someone who has run for the first time, I really feel good because their journey is just beginning. And when you cross the finish line and you see smiles everywhere, even the strangers become your friends. One big family.